Hello, friends, and thank you as always for visiting the Legend Sports Universe YouTube channel, Legend Sports Universe, where legends play forever. The Franchise Stars Baseball League is coming down the stretch of Gear 3 here in the FSBL. It is September 14th, and the best team in baseball, the Oakland A's, are going to try to disrupt the playoff hopes of the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox bounced the, the A's from the postseason a year ago. Now the A's are going to try to keep the Red Sox from getting there here in year three. Starting for Boston, Carl Mays, 9-7, a 3.33 earned run average in 29 appearances. Mays will try to keep the Red Sox on the heels of the New York Yankees and in the wild card position where they currently sit. Leading off for Oakland, Ricky Henderson batting 310. 19 homers, 61 RBIs as Henderson tries to chase down the Indians' Kenny Lofton for his third straight stolen base title. Breaking ball from Mays is in there for a called strike, and we're underway. There you see the Red Sox, a game back in the American League East. They currently hold the first wild card position. Ground ball slapped down to third. Larry Gardner has it. He throws over to Kevin Euclid at first, and there's one away. Your Oakland lineup, Henderson, Danny Murphy, and Jimmy Fox. Mark McGuire, home run Baker, and Reggie Jackson. Marcus Simeon, Bill North, and Wally Shang. McGuire comes in swinging a hot bat, 459. Over his last 10 games, the A's have gotten themselves rolling. They're not going to match the 111 wins of each of the first two seasons, but they will certainly clear the 100 win mark for a third straight year. Here's Danny Murphy, an eight game hitting streak, then 309, 25 homers, 77 RBIs. Fastball misses up high. Murphy had a very difficult season a year ago. After a strong year one, he has bounced back fabulously here in year three. He is behind him, 2-0. And Murphy deep drive to left and kiss that one goodbye. Murphy puts one well over the monster in left, and the A's strike early. It's 1-0 Oakland. 26th home run of the year for Danny Murphy. And the A's take a 1-0 lead. Mays fell behind him, 2-0. An ultimate hitter's count, and he grooved one, and Murphy didn't miss. Little bit above the belt, and Murphy belts it out over the monster. That cleared with room to spare. So now, here's Jimmy Fox. The reigning American League most valuable player has gotten his average up to an even 300 as he takes a fastball in the outside corner for strike one. 32 homers, 101 RBIs. Ox over the 100 RBI mark for the third consecutive year. It was a slow start out of the gate for Fox, but he will once again end up with top flight numbers. Earth ball misses down and away. Two and one the count. Fox bounce it off. Two two offering from Mays, and he fans Fox on the fastball. Fox gets out ahead of that one a little bit, actually. Strikes out for the second out of the inning. Here's Mark McGuire. Fastball in for a call strike. McGuire, 262, 40 home runs. 92 runs batted in. This A's offense is by a fair margin the best in baseball. Wire also prone to the strikeout, as you see there, seventh in the American League in the case. He's behind 0-2 here. Almost this one foul to stay alive. O2 
0-2 delivery. Fastball just off the plate for ball one. Ball there, McGuire gets a piece to hang in. Baratek sets up inside the one two pitch, fastball on the inside corner, strike three call. McGuire doesn't like it, but he'll have to deal with it. So May strikes out too, but in the midst of that, Danny Murphy hits a long home run. We'll head to the bottom of the first here at Fenway. A is one, Sox coming up. On the mound for the A's, Catfish Hunter, another terrific season for Hunter. 13-6, and six, a 2.89 earned run average. He has made 29 starts. He will start things off against Dolby Moore. Moore bangs 282. 15 homers for the rookie shortstop. Slider from Hunter is in for a call strike. You can see the A's 96 and 52. And they really didn't get hot until June. Change up foul ball. Count goes to 0 and 2. There is no threat in sight in the American League West for these Oakland A's. More fouls that high fastball back to stay alive. Angel certainly have some talent, including Mike Trout, but the A's are far and away the best team in that division. They're going to win that division by upwards of 20 games for a third consecutive year. Earth ball misses away. It's two and two. The Angels were a wild card team in year one of the FSBI. Some other teams have gained ground as Hunter fans more to open things up here in the first. The Angels have not been able to improve at the same rate. Now find themselves on the outside looking in. Mookie Betts yanks the first pitch foul. It's 0-1. Toronto Blue Jays were giving the Sox and the Yankees all they could handle in the American League East, but the Jays went on a six-game losing streak that has kind of dropped them back out of the division and kind of on the fringe of the wild card spot as time is getting short. Betts flies out to Bill North for the second out. Our Red Sox lineup, more Betts and Ted Williams, Reggie Smith, Harry Hooper, and Kevin Euclid's. Bobby Doerr, Larry Gardner, and Jason Varitek. Here's Williams. Williams batting 306. He was up as high as 330. He's kind of cooled off a little bit over the last month. The Sox would love to see Williams flip the switch once again. 35 homers, 88 RBIs. Certainly a fine season for Williams, who has predictably batted over 300 all three years here of the FSBL. Lee flashes this one the other way. It's slicing away from Henderson and it's going to beat him. One hopper off the base of the wall. Ricky gets the throw in, but Williams is on with a two-out double. And Ted Williams serves one out the other way, his 30th double of the season. Henderson gave chase. That one was slicing away from Ricky, who had Williams shaded to pull. Now, here's Reggie Smith. Smith also batting 306, and one has been a terrific campaign. Fastball off the outside corner. It's 1-0. Smith earned an all-star nod this year. 31 homers, 87 RBI. Rounds that one the other way, and it's past Baker. Base hit in the left. Williams comes around third. Henderson's throw is cut off. It's an RBI single for Reggie Smith, and the Red Sox answer here in the bottom of the first. We're tied at one. Low slider, and Smith 
puts one past Frank Baker. Baker, a decent but not great field over there. Not that that would have been an easy play by any stretch. So now here's Harry Hooper. Hooper, hard ground ball pass. Murphy at second. We'll see if Smith tries to go to third. He will. North's throw comes into the cutoff, man, and heads up base running by Hooper. The throw misses the cutoff, man, and Hooper takes second. So now the Red Sox have second and third. This is all happening with two outs. Here's Kevin Euclid. Euclid batting 259. That ball misses down and in. So now Hunter trying to keep this inning from getting away from him a bit. Fastball there. That looked like a good pitch. It's called the ball. The count goes to 2-0. Oh. Hunter does not know where that pitch was in the eyes of the home plate up. Oh. 2-0 oh offer. Borderline pitch inside. Hunter doesn't get the call there either, and it's 3-0. Bobby Doerr, wrapped in the middle of a rough season for him, waits on deck. Let's see if Hunter just gives Euclid the unintentional, intentional free pass here. He does not. Euclid, somewhat surprisingly, swinging 3-0, fouls it off. Hunter deals, high fastball, and that pitch he gets. And if I thought two other pitches were closer to being strikes than that one. But Hunter, regardless, has gotten the count back full. 3-2 offer. Fly ball, shallow center field. Bill North coming on. He's camped out. Puts it away, and the side is retired. So the Red Sox leave second and third, but they do answer the A's run from the top half. We'll head to the top of the second. A is one, Red Sox one here from Fenway. Stepping in, here's Frank Home Run Baker. 305, 37 homers, 99 RBIs. And this A's lineup, top to bottom. Just sensational. Baker having the best year of his career. Fastball misses down low. Fly ball out to left center. Smith drifts towards the gap. He's got it. Puts it away for out number one. Batting six. The right fielder. Reggie Jackson. Here's Reggie Jackson, 278, 33 homers, 100 RBIs. At fourth in the American League. Curve ball misses down low. You see the Sox playing Jackson the pull. Jackson having his best season. As well, rounds this one into the shift. Door has it on the outfield grass. Throws Reggie out. Just quickly two away here in the top of the second. So that'll bring up Marcus Simeon. 271, 24 homers, 70 RBI. Third ball misses down low. Bounce that one off, and the count goes to one and one. He's delivers. Ground ball the second. Routine play for Dorn. Throws the first and a good bounce back inning from Carl Mays as he sets the A's down quietly here in the top of the second. We'll head to the bottom half. Door, Gardner, and Baratek up for the Red Sox. We're tied at one.
So here's Bobby Doerr, 227. Doerr having the worst season of his career to this point. 14 homers, 47 RBIs. That OPS down at 631. Doerr has been a very solid player for the Sox in each of the first two years of the FSP. He's also been a very good postseason. And Sox hope to have the opportunity for Dorr to flip the switch and keep those postseason heroics up. Fastball from Hunter misses up high. He's behind 2-0. Joe so McDonald with the home plate responsibilities as part of the best fictional umpire crew in the business. Hunter rocks and fires. Change up. Misses down low. It's 3-0. Eric Gardner, who has been terrific since his minor league call-up in early August, waits in the on-deck circle. Pass ball in for a call and strike. That one is fouled off. Now it goes to three and two. Chopper up the middle. Range into his left. Simeon has it. Throws the first inning, gets him, and there's one away. Nicely done by Marcus Simeon. Not hit that hard up the middle. Simeon ranges to his left, makes a good strong throw. And gets door by a step. So that'll bring up Gardner. Gardner batting 310. Again, he started the season down in the minors. But Collins wasn't performing great at third. Garner has been given an opportunity. And has made the most of it. Shamed up. Borderline pitch. A very tight strike zone. It appears so far. One and one the count. Soft liner to third. Baker snags it before it hits the dirt. And there's two away. The catcher, number 33. So that'll bring up Jason Baratek. And Baratek mired in just a abysmal year. And in 206, two homers, 19 RBIs. He missed a significant amount of time with injury. And then was put down in the minors. Before being called up at the end of August. He hits yesterday. He tries to get his bat going down the stretch. 0-1 fastball swung on and missed. And Hunter's ahead of him 0-2. And ball pulled foul outside first. Catfish Hunter. Cemented his place in FSBL history. Right off the bat as Baratek goes the other way for a base hit. Two out single for Tech because he'll hold up at first. Hunter, in game seven of the World Series in year one, threw a two-hit shutout against the San Francisco Giants. As the A's picked up the one-nothing game seven victory in a classic. No matter how long the FSBL goes, that performance from Hunter will always rank near the top of the list. Order turns over for the Sox. Here's Doby Moore. Takes a changeup at the knees for strike one. Moore struck out his first time up. Fastball misses. It's one and one. Fastball. That one on gets the corner, and it's one and two. Here's the pitch. Get some with the slider. Hunter fans Dolby Moore for a second time. And that will end the second. 
Good pitch there from Hunter. We'll head to the top of the third. A's and Red Sox. Potential playoff preview. I don't want. Here's Bill North, 297. Leading off of the 13 stolen bases, 34 runs on the year. He's breezed through the second after the A's got him for one in the first on the Danny Murphy over. 1-0 pitch, dunked out towards center, but more Rangers over. He's going to be able to put it away. On the outfield pass for one away. Number eight. Here's the switch hitting catcher, Wally Chang. Chang batting 269, 13 homers, 44 ribbies on the year. Pass ball in for a goal strike. He's won the opener of this series. It's Eddie Plank, currently the front runner, I think, for the Outstanding Pitcher Award. Drew Blank's at them. For the shutout victory, his FSBL leading 18th victory of the season. Round out there, two away. Order turns over. Here's Henderson. Henderson's over one. He grounded out his first time up. Fastball, all strike. Ricky's got 45 doubles. Third ball there misses away. It's one and one. He's rocks and fires. That's ball down and away. That one is turned down the left field line, but it's hooking. And it'll find the seats in foul ground. Two and two as Mays works to Henderson. Popped up, foul ground outside first. Euclid, a step in foul territory, puts it away, and that wraps up the third. So Carl Mays seems to be settling. We'll head to the bottom of the third here at Fenway. 1-1, A's and Red Sox. Here's Mookie Betts. Betts flew out back in the first. He's 0-1. Right the right fielder. Number 51. That's a career 300 hitter. Slider misses. One and one the count. Fastball swung on and missed. The count goes for one and two. Slider misses away. It's two and two. Ground ball to third. Oh, a hot smash. Baker can't handle it. It's in the left. We'll see if they call that a single or an error. That was hit hard. It looked like it kind of caught him on an odd hop. Here's that is going to go in the books as a base hit. So the leadoff man is on. Here's Ted Williams. Williams doubled his first time up. Ball misses down and in. He delivers. That's ball off the plate. Two 
2 and 0 the count. Bats ball at the knees for strike one. Ball misses down low. Three and one, the count to Williams. Bets on first, nobody out. A tie ball game here in the bottom of the third. Red Smith waits on deck. Three one pitch from Hunter. Misses outside, ball four. So Hunter now has the first two men on against him here in the bottom of the third for Reggie Smith. Smith, an RBI single, his first time up. From the set. Rock and five. Slider misses down low. That's on second. Williams on first. The Rock and fire. Shot out to left. Carrying towards the wall. Ricky tracks it down on the edge of the warning track. Betts will tag up and take third. Williams retreats to first. His runners on the corners with one away. Three. So now here's Harry Hooper. Hooper singled his first time. From the set. High fastball misses. See if Hunter tries to work it down in the zone, try to get a double play ball. Change up is low, but it's also inside, and the count goes to 2 and up. High fastball, 3-0, and, oh, and Hunter's up against it now. Euclid waits in the on-deck circle. Three old pitch from Hunter. Hooper swings 3-0 and, oh and yanks it hard, but that Second time we've seen the Sox swing 3-0, and oh, Euclid did it as well. He also hit a foul ball. 3-1 offering from Hunter. Fastball misses up high. Ball four. And the Sox have the bases loaded against Catfish Hunter here in the bottom of the third. So now here's Euclid. Blew out his first time up. Hunter breathes deeply and delivers. First pitch fastball in for a call and strike. Bobby Doerr waits in the on-deck circle. Oh, one offering from Hunter. Euclid, fly ball down the right field line. That slicing is going to be out of play. So now Hunter ahead of Euclid, 0-2. Red Sox left second and third earlier. They can't come up empty here. 0-2 pitch from Hunter. Curveball misses down low. One and two the count. Hunter deals again. Euclid pulls the change up foul. Hunter sets once more. One two pitch. Fastball low. Probably a ball. If Euclid swings and fouls it off. Another 1-2 pitch coming from Catfish Hunter. Euclid fouls off a slider. Euclid and Hunter locked in a battle here. Bases loaded, tie ball game. One out, bottom of the third. Hunter delivers. Fastball in there, a called strike three. Euclid looks at a fastball. Third strikeout for Hunter. And now Hunter has an opportunity to get out of this jam. 
Fastball up and away. And now it's up to Bobby Doerr. Doerr is 0 for 1. Rounded out his first time up. Fastball off the plate. It's 1 and 0. This would be a rough one to swallow for the Sox to leave the bases stranded here. 1 0 pitch from Hunter. Change up, misses low. It's 2 and 0. And now it's a good hitter's count for Bobby Doerr. He should get something he can do something with. Hunter rocks and fires. Fastball misses up high. It's 3 0. Wally Shang trying to calm down his pitcher. Larry Gardner waits on deck for Boston. Hunter tries to battle back. Rio pitch. Fastball. Oh my goodness. And Hunter got squeezed on that one, but it's ball four. Betts comes home. He's forced in with a walk. It's 2 1 Sox. And now here's Larry Gardner. First pitch fastball misses up high. McDonald has had a tight zone all night. But that certainly looked like a good pitch from Catfish Hunter. One-zero pitch, fastball puts it past him. It's one and one. Fly ball, left field, slicing away. It's in foul ground. Nobody can get to it, and the count goes to one and two. Hunter from the set, the obligatory check on the runner. Gardner, fly ball, hit well to right, but Jackson is there. Puts it away, and the side is retired. So the Sox certainly would have liked more there, but they're able to get one as the run is forced home on the bases loaded walk. We head to the top of the fourth here at Fenway, 2-1 Sox. Here's Danny Murphy. Murphy homered back in the first for Oakland's home. Danny. Earth ball down in the dirt. Hayes rocks and fires. Earth ball swung on and missed. Shot there, foul. He's fine. As he dribbles it down. He's has retired eight in a row since the Murphy home. Her ball misses away. Shot out to right. Going back on it is Betts. He gets there, tracks it down. Nicely done by Mookie Betts for the first out here in the top of the fourth. Now the first base. Jimmy Fox. So that'll bring up double X. Jimmy Fox struck out his first time up. Ball in for a called strike. Our deck sets up away. They go away, and Fox lines it the other way. Just foul. Fox lashed that one just outside the chalk down the right field line, and Mays is ahead of him 0 2. Fast ball away. Wow. I said that was a curveball. It didn't really have much movement on it, but the pace. 
threw off both me and Jimmy Fox. Strike out there for Mays. It's his third. Kind of more of a what we now call a sweeper, which is frankly a made up pitch, but <laughs> we decided we wanted to name it something different. Just a different kind of curveball, but regardless, Fox goes down two away. Here's McGuire. McGuire struck out in the first as well. up in it. That's ball down low. McGuire swings and misses it one and one. The ball is in there and the count goes for one and two. One, two off. Curve ball. McGuire holds up. It's down and away. It's two and two. Two, two pitch. McGuire towards the gap in right center. Long run. Betts lays out and he makes the play. Oh, what a grab by Mookie Betts. Play McGuire to pull. There was a lot of room out there in right center, but Betts lays out. For a terrific grab, it's still 2-1 Sox as we head to the bottom of the fourth. Here's Jason Baratek. Baratek singled his first time up. Crowd still buzzing after the great grab by Mookie Betts. Fastball misses down low. It's 1-0. Hunter's been shaky, but he's been able to minimize the damage. Baratek fouls this one off. It's one and one. Curveball. This is down low. It's two and one. Slider. Ooh. Two and two. That's another questionable call behind the plate. Got a little Angel Hernandez action going. Fastball misses. Down and in. Count goes to three and two. Dolby Moore waits on deck. Here's the pitch. That's ball is fouled up. Catfish Hunter at 74 pitches with no outs here in the bottom of the fourth. His bullpen is going to get some work. Fly ball out to center. North drifts towards the gap. He's there. Puts it away for out number one. Now that number 22. So that will bring up Dolby Moore. Moore struck out both times up so far in this. Pitch from Hunter. I, I don't know where that pitch is. That, I, it, that That's not just clipping the corner. You're basically taking that outside third of the plate for right-handers and just eliminating it from a pitcher being able to work there. Hunter's kept his composure to this point. Down is 2-0. and oh. More. Hopped up. Shallow center field. Murphy going out. Can't get there. That's probably a ball Bill North should have taken. Hustling all the way out of the box. Dolby Moore, his 40th double of the season. On a bloop out in no man's land out in center. Murphy can't come up with it. It bounces right over the head of Bill North. Jackson was there, fortunately, for the A's. Here's Mookie Betts. He's one for two. 
ball misses high. That's from the set. If a hunter from the set, facing bats. 1 0 pitch. Fastball misses inside. It's 2 0. Pitch, fastball, bats, fouls it off. Ted Williams waits in the on deck zone. Another fastball misses inside. It's three and one. Hunter rocks and fires. Tapper back towards the mound. Hunter charges. This is going to be a tough play. Betts runs well. He's not going to get him. And that's just the way it's going. Loop phase hit to center. Infield hit on a dribbler by Betts. And Hunter has just one way or another been in trouble throughout this game. So now it's first and third, one out. Here's Ted Williams. Williams, a double and a walk so far. Things at the first pitch change up and fouls it off. Williams does not run great. If Hunter can get a ground ball here, might be able to get himself out of this. The Sox, again, they need to get at least that run in from third. They could be up by plenty in this one. Hunter certainly deserves some credit for pitching out of trouble. The Red Sox know they need to convert those situations. One misses up and in. The count's one and one. Slider from 100 misses away. It's two and one. Hunter from the set. Delivers. Williams slashes it, but foul. So now the count is two and two. Let's see where Hunter opts to go with it here. Ricky Smith waits on deck. Two two fastball. He again tries to go to that corner and it's just not there. Three and two the count. Full count here as Hunter works to Williams. High fastball. It's been a borderline strike there. Williams had to protect. He fouls it off. Three and two again. Breaking ball. Williams gets a piece to stay alive. 22 pitches in the inning, 90 in the game, with one out in the bottom of the fourth for Catfish Hunter. It has been a laborious outing, to say the least. Williams, high fly ball to center, carrying towards the gap. It'll stay in the park, but it'll get the run home. North with the catch. Runner tags and scores without a throw, and it's 3-1 to one Boston. So Dolby Moore comes home on the sacrifice fly from Ted Williams. There are two outs now. 3-1 Sox, bottom of the fourth. Here's Reggie Smith. Smith is one for two. He had an RBI single his first time up. Ball on the outside corner for strike one. Reggie Smith questioning that to do. Here's the old one offer. And that one's in there for a strike as well. It's 0 2. Hunter from the set. Delivers. Curveball in there for a called strike three. He locks Smith up. Probably the best pitch of the game so far from Catfish Hunter. But the Red Sox scratch another one across. We'll head to the top of the fifth. It's 3-1 Boston. Baker, Jackson, and Simeon do up for the eighth.
There's home run Baker. He's all for one. The third baseman. Home run Baker. Who out his first time up? He's delivers fastball off the plate. Ball misses down low. It's two and up. Oh. It's fire. This is three and up. Oh. Last thing Mays wants to do is be giving up free passes. He's retired the last 11 to face him since the Murphy Homer in the first. The old fastball misses for ball four. So it's a four pitch walk. To Frank Baker to open up the fifth. Here's Reggie Jackson. He's 0 for 1. He's rounded out his first time up. Reggie could tie in this game with one big swing of the bat. Curve ball from Mays in there for strike one. From the set, throws over the first. Baker gets back. Bit of a playoff feel here at Fenway. That's ball from Mays misses. It's one and one. First ball misses outside. Two and one. It's a hard with that. Juju bitch. High fastball gets Jackson. Good job by Mays. Down goes Reggie. Fourth strikeout for Mays, and there's one away. Here's Marcus Simeon. Simeon is 0 for 1. The ball misses outside. This delivers. Fastball is in there. 1 and 1 the count. One and two as Mays works to semi. Out off the path. The ball there is fouled off. Count of hold at one and two. Go over to first. Gets back in safe. Her ball misses away. It's two and two. Semyon lines that one the other way. Betts has to play it on the hop. Runner's going to try to go first third. Betts has a good arm. Throw not in time. So Baker advances first to third on the single from Semyon. First hit since Murphy's home run in the first, but now the A's have two on with one out. That'll bring up Bill North. North is 0 for 1. Tough man to double up. North slashes one in the hole. Nice play by Moore. Six, four. No, North beats it out. Run will come home to score. That's a beautiful play by Dolby Moore and a nice turn by Bobby Dore. But Bill North. Just a very speedy man. Difficult 
to turn two on, especially with the backhand play. But beautifully done by Dolby Moore. Doerr did everything he could there. Run comes home. It's an RBI for Bill North. And it's now 3-2 Red Sox. Here's Wally Shang. Runner goes. Throw down a second for Varitek. Not in time. It's a stolen base for Bill North. His 14th of the year. So North Speed making things happen here in the fifth. Shang pulls it down. Now May is ahead of him here, 0 and 2. That's ball misses. One two offering fly ball out the center. Reggie Smith underneath it puts it away, and the side is retired. But the A's cut the deficit in half. We will head to the bottom of the fifth. We're midway through here at Fenway. 3-2 Red Sox. Hooper, Euclid, and Dorr do up. Here's Harry Hooper. One for one. Single back in the first. Also, Walk takes a fastball up hot. Shot down to third. Baker has the liner. And there's one away. Now batting. Number five. So that'll bring up Euclid. He's 0 for 2. He has struck out and flown out. That's ball in for a call strike. Next game on the channel, defending champion San Francisco Giants, who have gone ice cold in September and let the Dodgers creep back into that National League West. Head to Pittsburgh to take on the Pittsburgh Pirates, who have also had a little bit of a struggle this month, as they're trying to outlast the St. Louis Cardinals. So a pair of teams could be a uh, postseason matchup for sure. Air teams trying to get the ship righted down the stretch. Air division leaders in the National League. Fifth strikeout for Hunter as he gets Euclid for the second time. That'll bring up Bobby Dorr. He's going for one. And an RBI sacrifice line. Fastball swung on and missed. It's one and one. Slider in there. Good pitch from Hunter. The head of him one and two. 103 pitches for Catfish Hunter. Door grounds this one to Baker. Throws the first, and finally, it is the inning for Catfish Hunter. That might well be the end of his day. We'll see if the A's are going to try to stretch him for a six. We'll head to the top of the six. Henderson, Murphy, and Fox do up for Oakland. They trail it 3 2. Here's Ricky. He's 0 for 2. He is popped out and grounded out. The left fielder. Ricky Henderson. Carl Mays has been terrific. Gave up a first inning home run to Danny Murphy. Didn't allow another hit until the fifth, but the A's got a run then as well. The A's have made their limited offense count. Red Sox have piled up the hits, but only have one more run. Curve ball there. Henderson fouls it off. The A's is ahead of him 0 2. Pitch, curveball, misses down and in. A's 
against Rocks and Fires. Get some fouls it off. Hayes delivers again. One two fastball misses outside. It's two and two. Last thing Mays wants is to put Henderson on to open up the top of the sixth as the tying run. Mays delivers. Fastball misses up high. The count goes full. There's Murphy in the on deck. Center. Henderson, six stolen bases behind Kenny Lofton. He's going to want to run if he gets on. And he does. Curveball misses outside, so Ricky is on with the leadoff walk to open up the sixth in a one-run game. Here's Murphy. He's one for two. Hit the solo home run back in the first. Your eyes on Henderson on first base. He's delivered. Her ball missed the high. One oh pitch. Fast ball on the inside corner. And another fast ball is in there. May is working quickly at the moment. One and two the count. With the pitch. Murphy fouls it off. One two pitch. If he fouls off another. Fastball. Oh my goodness. That corner. Again, it's not just Hunter. McDonald has been consistent. But that pitch, in the eyes of pretty much anyone, is a strike. Instead, it gets the count to two and two. Curveball misses three and two. Jimmy Fox waits on deck. Ricky has not made a move to go yet. Full count offering from Mays to Murphy. It's swung on a miss. Fastball gets it. Carl Mays picks up his fifth strikeout of the ball game, and there's one away. Here's Jimmy Fox. Fox has been paid twice. has gotten him with breaking stuff away. There, he puts the breaking ball down the middle, but at the knees. Or a call and strike. A one pitch. Fastball, and that one is a call on the outside corner. Up in the zone. But Mays is ahead of Fox here, 0-2. Down in the dirt. Ricky's going to try to advance. Varitek's throw, not in time. Going to call that one a wild pitch. Varitek did a good job to block it. But all Henderson needs is a slight opportunity. 1-2 curveball. Misses just outside. It's 2-2. Two and two. Another one down in the dirt. This time, Ricky's not going to try it. Maratek popped up, ready to fire. Full count as Mayes works to Fox. Fox shot out to left. Coming on. Williams makes the play. Henderson retreats to second. I'm sorry, that's Harry Hooper out there on left. Williams designated hitter today. So now there's two away with the tying run on second in the form of Ricky Henderson. Here's Mark McGuire. McGuire is 0 for 2. Came in swinging a very hot bat. Fastball misses up and in. McGuire was batting 439 over his last 10 games entering today. Goes the other way. Bets for treating. Going back, going back. He tracks it down. Oh, Mookie Betts, his second outstanding play of the ballgame. 
saves a run and robs Mark McGuire. We head to the bottom of the sixth. Here at Fenway, it's still 3-2 Sox. Catfish Hunter is going to come out to start the bottom of the sixth at 104 pitches. He will face Larry Gardner. That's all the call and strike. This bullpen action going Diego Segui and Justin Dukeshare, the men out in the Oakland bullpen. Fly ball the right. Reggie drifts. He's there. Puts that one away for out number one. Now batting. Number 33. Here's Baratek. One for two. Single back in the second. Change up on the outside. Point. Fastball misses. It's one and one. On a delivery. Baratek lines it the other way. Slicing away from Ricky. It gets down for a base hit. Baratek rounds first. Thinks better of it. Good throw in there for Henderson. No reason for Baratek to be trying for an extra base there. And that's going to be it for Catfish Hunter. So we get to the top of the order. Hunter, a grinded out kind of outing here. He was not sharp by any means. But he never let it get away from him. He exits trailing 3-2. If you look at his line, it could be much, much worse. Here's Diego Sigui, 3-3, three a three, 4.1 earned run average. 63 appearances. Sigi will face Doby Moore. Moore one for three. He's got a double and a run score. Red Sox mascot trying to get the crowd fired up. I don't think they need the help. Good one going here at Fenway. Fastball at the knees for strike one. That one's turned but foul, and the count goes to 0 and 2. Shot down to first. Oh, snag. Nice play by Fox. Baratek gets back. Good play there by Jimmy Fox. So two down. Here's Mookie Betts. He is two for three. A pair of singles, a run scored, and two sparkling plays out in right field. Things and misses at the fastball with Nolan Warren. So he checks the runner and delivers. Foul back. Breaking ball swung on and missed. Betts chases, Sagi fans him, and that closes out the sixth. So we head to the top of the seventh. The A's trying to scratch their way back. They've only got two hits, but they've got two runs. It's Octave three, it's 3-2 Boston. Here's home run Baker. Over one is also walked. Mays at 90 pitches to open up the top of the seventh. Carl Mays has been excellent in this ball.
Koji Uehara and Tom Bergmeier out throwing in the Red Sox bullpen. Ball misses up high. It's 2-0. Ball there on the outside point. Hayes delivers. Tapper back to the mound. A play. Hayes has it. Throws the first and he gets him. There's one away. The right fielder. Reggie Jackson. That'll bring up Reggie Jackson. Reggie's 0 for 2. He has struck out and grounded. It's ball there. Jackson fouls it straight back. That's ball misses down low. One one offering. Jackson hits this one deep to right. Betts goes back, but he's there. Two-handed grab on the track. Betts puts it away for out number two. It's a loud out off the bat of Reggie Jackson. Here's Marcus Semi. Semi and one for two. Single back in the fifth. That's ball. All the ball up in the zone. Austin Faithful. Don't appreciate it. The shot the other way past Euclid. It's an opposite field single. With two outs, and the A's have the tying run on base. Second hit of the game for Semi. So that'll bring up Bill North, but he will not face Carl Mays. Nice job by Mays in this one. He's going to turn it over to the Red Sox bullpen. Mays exits with the lead with the tying run on base. It's going to be Wade Davis. Davis, 11-5, and five, a 3.04 ERA in 70 appearances. Davis was acquired in the trade that sent Dwight Evans to the Kansas City Royals. Davis came over with Charlie Liebrand. Now he gets a big spot here against Bill North. Fastball at the knees for strike one. Dwight Evans, a terrific ball player. The Red Sox pitching was in a bit of disarray at that moment, and the Red Sox offense of the outfield was in particular. Very, very solid with William Smith and Betts. Also drafted Jim Rice, who will join them next year. So Evans just became a guy who could be dealt from strength. Breaking ball in the dirt, blocked nicely by Barakat to run a hole. One's fouled off, count goes to two and two. Davis from the set. Delivers North ground ball down to first. Euclid has it, takes it to the bag himself. And the side is retired. So Davis gets the job done in relief of Mays. Seventh inning stretch time here at Fenway. Sox playing to a 3-2 lead. Here's Ted Williams. He is one for one. He had an RBI double. He also walked and hit a sacrifice fly. Diego Segui staying in for Oakland. Fastball misses up high. Hold on one second. 
they have lefty ready so they have a lefty ready Siggy really shouldn't be staying in there but I don't think Oakland has a lefty in the bullpen them being one of those teams that doesn't yeah they do not they are all righties all right so in that case we'll let we'll let Siggy stay in face Williams here in that case these don't have many weaknesses, but the lack of a left-handed pitcher in that bullpen is one of them. Two and zero oh from Sagita Williams. Oh, gets him the chase. A fourth ball down low. Williams, I wish he had that swing back. You don't see Ted Williams chase like that too often. Two one offering from Sagi. Fastball there is fouled off. Now goes back to two and two. Here's the pitch. William holds the foul outside first. Here's the pitch from Sugi. Way outside. It's three and two. Reggie Smith waits on deck. Two offering Shang singles. He wants it up in the zone. Sigi obliges and they ring Williams up at the letters, and Williams can't believe it. Ted Williams letting Joe McDonald hear it behind the plate. Williams is disgusted with that call. So Sigi gets the strikeout of Williams there. Here is Reggie Smith. Fourth ball misses down low. One old pitch, Smith fouls it off. He rocks his five. That's ball. Oh, it's two and one. Swung on and miss. Out goes to two and two. Siggy delivers. Fourth ball misses down low. Three and two, the count. Harry Hooper waits in the on deck sir. Smith turns that one to foul. Down a hole of the three and two. Fly ball out to left center. North giving chase. This ball's hit well. It's going to bang off the monster. Takes a weird hop. North is able to stay with it, but Smith is going to try for three, and he's going to make it. And they sell, oh my goodness. Reggie Smith. Gets a bad sign there. I think Smith thought, and perhaps the third base coach thought, that this bounced away from North. It got over North's head, but North stretches out, makes the grab. The throw comes into third, and Smith ends up trying to come around, and he is dead to rights. Reggie Smith runs right through it. And that is a mistake the Red Sox can ill afford. Hooper fly ball the left. Henderson is there, puts it away, and that ends the seventh. And the Red Sox have a very weird feeling right now. They are leading this game 3-2. But if Reggie Smith holds up at third there, as he should have, and obviously, you know, you can't do the fallacy of a predetermined outcome. I get that. But potentially, at least, a sacrifice fly gives the Red Sox an insurance run. We have not seen many instances like that this year of horrible base running. But that one simply was. Horrible decision by Reggie Smith. We'll see if it costs the Sox. Uihara on to throw the eighth for Boston. He'll face Wally Shea. 
closer, Jonathan Tappelbon, has just started throwing in the pen. Tom Brewer's been up throwing for a bit. When it's fouled off, the count goes to one and one. Muihara is fouled off. The count is one and two. Rookie Betts and Ted w and Harry Hooper walked alongside Reggie Smith out there to center field before the start of this inning. Smith clearly hanging his head, knowing he made a big mistake there. Teammates trying to tell them we still got a game to close out here. Round out there for the first out of the inning. Order turns over. Here's Ricky Henderson. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. Fastball on the inside corner for strike one. Another fastball in for a call strike. It's 0 and 2. Shot to left. Hooking foul. Butter there. Henderson fouls it off to stay alive. O2 pitch. High fastball misses. It's one and two. Red Sox have had plenty of chances to have more runs than this in the course of this game. They had Catfish Hunter on the ropes pretty much every inning. Never got the big hit to blow it open. One two offering here from Uihara. Fastball off the plate. It's two and two. Henderson lines it in the center for a one-out single. Good at bat from Ricky. So it's a one-out base hit for Henderson. Henderson did not try to steal his last time up. He did advance on a wild pitch. And now here's Danny Murphy. Murphy hit a solo shot in the first and Carl Mays. Turned it up from there. Mays was very good in this game for the Sox. Uihara against Murphy. Butter in there for a called strike. Got to imagine Ricky's going to run. Uihara thinks so. He throws over to first and Ricky gets back in. Another throw over. Once again, Ricky beats the tag back. A one pitch down in the dirt, bounces. Henderson gets back to first. Ricky doesn't try it. One and one, the count. It's another throw. Over. Everyone in the ballpark expecting Henderson to try to get into scoring position with the tying run. 1-1 one, one pitch from Uehara. Splitter misses down low. It's 2-1. And, Uehara from the set. One pitch misses up high. It's three and one. Jimmy Fox waits on deck. Good cutter there from Uihara to get the count full. Big pitch coming here with Fox on deck. Another throw over to first. Ricky gets back once again.
Crowd of buzz here at Fenway. 3-2 pitch. Murphy pulls it for foul. Another 3-2 offering. In there, a called strike three. Fastball on the inside corner. Locks Murphy up. Perfect pitch from Uehara, and that's a big one. So now, up steps Fox. He's 0 for 3 in the ballgame. Pitch out. Ricky doesn't go. Ara sets and delivers fastball in for a call and strike. If Fox gets on in any way here, Jonathan Papelbon will probably come on for a four out save. One one offer. Utter misses down low, it's two and one. Ball in there for a called strike. It's two and two. We've gotten Fox on breaking stuff away. Two and two. They come inside on him on a splitter, and Fox gets a piece to stay alive. Two and two the count. Another throw over to first. Here's the pitch. Swung on a miss. Splitter from Uehara. Terrific job from Uehara to get out of the jam. Uehara is pumped up, as is the crowd here at Fenway. A big strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts of Murphy and Fox. Henderson is kept at bay on first. We head to the bottom of the eighth at Fenway. Sox still lead it 3-2. Coming on for Oakland, Justin Dukeshare. He's had a terrific season, 7-3, a 2.64 earned run average in 46 appearances. He'll try to keep this game where it stands. Give the A's an opportunity against Papelbon in the night. Here's Kevin Euclid. Euclid is 0 for 3. We'll check this out. Have a lefty bat on the bench. You have another first baseman. And you can go to as well. Yeah, I think you're going to let Ellsbury. Ellsbury hit here, and then Harris will come in to play first for the night. Your attention, please. So Jacoby right. Ellsbury, 251. 13 steals on the year. He will face Duke Share to open things up here in the eighth. Butter at the knees for strike one. The only lefty bat on the Red Sox bench. Squares the bunt, and it's a beauty. Tough play for Baker. Throw to first isn't going to get him. And Jacoby Ellsbury is on with a bunch single to open things up here in the bottom of the eighth. So now we'll see if Ellsbury puts the wheels to work. Nothing Baker could do about that. Here's Bobby Doerr. Doerr is 0 for 2. Over to first, Ellsbury dives back in. These will have McGuire, Baker, and Jackson. Do up in the ninth. Breaking ball in the dirt. Ellsbury does not try to go. Share delivers. Butter 
on the outside corner. That is a pitch that has not been there for the bulk of this game. And Al Four and Joe Barry throwing in the A's bullpen. This will be Duke shares inning unless he gets into trouble. Slider and that pitch, which looked far more like a strike, is called the ball. Bill McDonald having a bit of a rough go, I think, here with the strike zone in this one. He's been consistent for both teams. That doesn't mean he's been good. Three and one, the count. Larry Gardner waits on deck. Door, fly ball to right. Reggie has it. Puts it away. For the out as Ellsbury retreats the first. Now that out, the third baseman, Larry Gardner. Here's Gardner. He's 0 for 3. Flew out his last time up. Curveball misses inside. Line shot. That's towards that gap in left center. Ellsbury was on the move. He's going to go to third, and Ellsbury's going to be waved all the way around. Relay is cut off, and Jacoby Ellsbury's wheels get the Red Sox that insurance run they were looking for. They were playing Garner to pull. Ellsbury was off on the pitch. Garner lines it into the gap in left center, and Ellsbury never slowed down. All the way from first, it's 4-2 Boston. Here's Jason Baratek, 2 for 3 on the day. Hutter misses down low. So the call to pinch hit Ellsbury works out perfectly for the Sox. Brown ball to short, this could be 2. Semyon to Murphy on to first, 6-4-3, double play. Ends the eighth, but the Sox get the insurance run they were looking for. RBI single for Larry Gardner. Ellsbury's wheels bring it around. We head to the top of the ninth. It's 4-2 Red Sox. Coming on, Jonathan Papelbon. 44 saves on the year, a 3.23 earned run average. He has taken five losses. In 51 appearances. A defensive change for the Red Sox. John Valentin is actually going to be brought in to play first base for the Red Sox. Which he played, I believe, very, very sparingly. Slider swung on and missed. Have to double check it. Now it really shouldn't really be rated to play there. But I think we're going to allow it here. We'll fix it after the game if necessary. Valentin's a better defender than Joe Harris. He is. And because the game has a has a a positional glitch if you do a sub, I always, I was trying to make sure that a team has one guy who's basically listed as though he can play everywhere so that the game doesn't lock up on a substitution. You know, you pinch hit for somebody and then there's nobody on the bench who can realistically play the, who's listed to play the position that that person played, the whole game will lock up. Uh, had that happen once, I had to make sure I could protect against it. So that's probably why Valentin is ready to play everywhere. More info than you needed, I'm sure. Mark McGuire leads off the top of the ninth with a base hit for the Oakland A's. McGuire is going to be run for, even though he's not the tying run anymore. You still got to keep McGuire's complete lack of speed off the bases. Um, not really a heck of a lot. Well, you've got Campanaris there. Campanaris will run for McGuire. Ladies and gentlemen, you're at Lincoln Cruz. Now one of the players for the athletic. Number 19. Bird. 
So now home run Baker steps in as the tying run. Campanaris on first, running from McGuire. Nobody out. Top of the ninth. Fastball right down the middle, and Baker misses it. 0 for 2 with a walk and a run score. Campanaris can certainly swipe a bat. Fastball in there for a called strike. It's 0 and 2. From the set. Delivers. Swung on a miss. Fastball. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Down goes Frank home run Baker. And there's one away here in the top of the ninth. So that'll bring up Reggie. 0 for 3 on the day. Crowd on its feet here at Fenway. First pitch fastball misses up high. She had a grand slam in yesterday's game. Applebaum delivers. And Jackson, deep to right, down the right field line, hooking foul. Oh, Reggie teed that one off, but hooks it to the outside of the pesky pole, and it's just a loud strike. One and one, the count. Fastball misses up and away, it's two and one. Bobon from the set throws over. Campanaris gets back. But that throw over was more for Papelbon just to kind of reset his head a little bit. Play still buzzing over the Jackson foul bomb. 2 1 pitch. Ground ball to first. Valentin has it. Throws to short for one more. Back to first. Double play. They get him. Ball game's over. 3-6-1 double play. Jackson can't believe it. It's not being reviewed because the show doesn't do that. I don't know why at this point, but regardless. 3-6-1 double play and the Red Sox get a big, big win here. 4-2 over the A's. Oh, that was a dandy. There you see that Danny Murphy first inning home run. Carl Mays was great after that. He got some help. Mookie Betts, one of his two terrific plays. Reggie Smith, bad base running, gets thrown out at the plate. He's turned the double play there. Nice pick on the backhand from Valentin. Moore with the turn. Barely get Reggie at first. We'll take a look at that replay. We're going to go and check check that one out here. See, see about that. Reggie chops it to first. Valentin on the backhand. Throws to Moore. Sorry. A little, trying to get around the base coach. We'll see. There's the throw. Oh, my goodness. That is as close as it gets, folks. But you can see he hadn't touched as of yet. So the Red Sox, by an inch, wrap this one up. Carl Mays gets the win. Six and two-thirds innings, three hits, five strikeouts, two walks, two runs allowed. Catfish Hunter labored his way through. Five and a third. He allowed eight hits. He walked three. Struck out five. He allowed three runs. He takes the loss. Carl Mays gets player of the game honors. Jonathan Papelbon picks up his 45th save. And the Red Sox keep pace with the Yankees and keep their spot atop the American League wild card race. So again, next game here on the channel. We'll also be here from September 14th, the Giants and the Pirates from Forbes Field. I hope I will see you then. Thank you so much for tuning in to this broadcast from Fenway. 
Red Sox down the A's 4-2. to two. 